Welcome to Radical Dogs, and we're about to get going in Brands Hatch Race 1. And we have got a very slippery Brands Hatch circuit here. Uh, we've got 888, so that's Tom Davies, who's behind us, and we've got uh, Chris Delwell behind us as well. We've got Tom Cannon on the left, the car 25. Jordan Head is in car number 3 on the left hand side as well. We've got Russell Halley up ahead of in the purple car as well. So we're going down the inside, and we've kind of where we started, despite the bit of chaos going up ahead. Uh, there's going to be contact, and there's contact, and there's cars sideways across the circuit, and there's a car almost coming into my path, steering out wide, and no further contact. I think a few cars caught up in that, and there's another car on the grass uh, facing the other direction. So we're up quite a few positions at the moment just by keeping it out of trouble. Um, and you'll recall last time we got into rather a lot of trouble at Silverstone, and I spent about 150 hours rebuilding this car. There is a video on YouTube if you want to see that. Anyway, we're up to position 17, starting 21st, and we have been quite conservative up until now. <laughs> almost sideways and everyone else is also going sideways. Russell Halley collecting it up before he gets onto the gravel but it does mean he's slow to put the power down. Jordan Head in car number three again struggling to put the power down. We're ahead and we're going to be side by side as we cross the finish line. That does mean we're actually up to position 16. That's up five places from where we started. However, breaking a bit earlier than Jordan down into Paddock Hill Bend, it is a bit slippery and I do not want to find myself collected by a car behind or out onto the gravel. So anyway, I'm letting Jordan take that place for the time being. We'll see if we can get that place back later. There are yellow flags down that Druid, so hands up just to let other drivers know behind that I've seen the flags. Uh, but then back on the power as we go green flag racing once again on the exit of Druids, down into Graham Hill Bend. It is extremely slippery, this, this circuit. The rain has been on and off all day, but there is a dry line emerging. So those cars that are a bit more confident are able to take advantage of that. The last set of corners, 30s in particular, extremely slippery. So you see there's a dry line emerging here, but these last couple of corners, there is grip right on the outside of the circuit, but it is really difficult to find. And it does change basically every lap. The objective of this, of this race is to get the car through to the finish line, <laughs> but it might be a bit tricky with the tra track in this condition. We're side by side with Jordan once again as we go across the finish line, get it picking up position 16 briefly as we go down into Paddock Hill Bend. He's got the inside line and actually has been much more confident on the brakes into Paddock Hill. It's probably my weakest part of the circuit. We're on lap three already, which is, comes around quickly at Brands Hatch, and we're going to potentially go down the inside at Druids. The yellow flags are, I think, gone away, uh, and it does look like Tom Cannon as well, coming up a bit close behind us. As with most of the other MX-5 races, if you do lose a bit of time somewhere, you do get pounced on by cars behind. Anyway, we're going to skip forward. Now we're now on lap four, going on to lap five. As you can see, really tricky to get the power down on that last corner here at Brands Hatch onto the start finish straight. Going across the finish line, and we're finding ourselves in a bit of a pocket. We've got some space behind us. We've got Jordan head up, up ahead of us. Going down into Paddock Hill Bend for the fifth time. And Jordan, again, a bit better on the brakes, and I've been quite poor on the brakes as well. And we do have Tom Davies in eight. Eight, eight behind us but actually Jordan's gone wide he had a bit of a tag slapper he's gone on to the gravel we've picked up that position and we didn't lose any time doing that as well so actually we're going to be able to build a bit of a gap but Thomas Davis as well behind us is going to also look to take advantage of that he has been quite quick we're going to skip ahead a bit later in the same lap going across the start finish line and that is going to be our fastest lap of the race I think we're up to a 106.2 the guys at the front are doing two or three seconds faster though so they're much more confident in these conditions I've just not been that confident okay, going down through, through Paddock Hill Bend and Thomas Davis is much more confident he's going to find himself down the inside up into Druids and we're going to slot in behind him. We did, again, not wanting to lose too much race time at this point, fighting positions. We're right in the middle of the race. So actually fighting at this point will mean we will definitely lose touch with the cars in front and potentially be caught by cars behind. You can see that dry line emerging. It's really clear down at Graham Hill Bend. But anyway, the idea here is to stick with Tom Davis as we go through the rest of the lap and actually hopefully into subsequent laps as well. And we've got Kev Bird who's gone slowly. He must have had a problem out of the last corner. And actually, <laughs> that's Jordan Head. He's taken advantage massively late on the brakes on the inside. We're side by side as we go down Paddock Hill Bend. Kev Bird's picked up the pace, so he seems to have recovered from whatever problem he had. And we're going up and now into Drew as we're side by side. We've got the outside line. The outside line is not so bad in the wet. There is still grip out there. And we're still side by side on the exit of Drew. It's going down to Graham Hill Bend. Difficult to get the power down sometimes. There is a bit of rubber on the circuit, and when it's wet, it does get very greasy. Down on the inside for Graham Hill. 
Bristol not been very confident there and it let him through and, and Tom Cannon as well taking advantage of that so that is exactly what I was talking about if you're slow in one part of the circuit you often lose two positions or more that is Tom through into position 18 we're now position 19 still up two from where we started but there is a bit of recovery <laughs> you can see sideways head sideways got a wheel on the gravel and they're gonna be <laughs> We're all sideways going out of the last corner. We're going to be side by side, or at least Tom and Jordan are going to be side by side as they cross the finish line. We're still going to be in position 19, but it shows it's all to play for still. Still several laps remaining. We're basically midway through this race. And you can see Tom's picked up yet another position down into Paddock Hill Bend. So up two positions in a distant space of half a lap there for Tom. So that's in a pretty good half a lap. We're going to skip ahead to lap nine. We're in the same position and the car's up ahead are also still fighting for position, which means we're able to keep in touch quite easily, well, relatively easily. Oh, okay, going down into the last corner, again, we've had this trouble getting the power down. There is a car we're going to have to lap here, and that means that potentially there's an opportunity for us to catch up, and you can see Jordan sideways really struggling to get the power down on that last corner. It means we're able to catch right up on the start-finish straight. We're, there's nose to tail, and there's not much space between us going across the finish line, and actually the yellow flags down into Paddock Hill Bend, so definitely backing out of any move there and making sure that we are 100% sure we're going to make this corner nice and smoothly, and you can see actually there's a car off in the gravel there. Uh, Marshall's doing an excellent job. To, to help out the driver. Skipping ahead once again now to lap 13 of 14. So getting towards the end of this race now. We've got Jack Worry who's making a recovery drive. I think he's been much faster the last few laps. I'm just going to let him through on the inside. Hopefully I'll be able to follow him through and take some positions. You can see I'm actually I'm still very, very much part of the battle with Tom Cannon and Jordan Head. <laughs> see Tom struggling to put the power down. This circuit is so greasy and slippery. It's really not drying out at all. Despite appearances of this dry line appearing, there are definitely parts of the circuit where it's really tricky to get the power down. We're going to skip ahead down to the last lap of the race and you can see the plan is sort of working. I've mean, lost a bit of touch there with Jack Worry. He's got through Tom Cannon. Tom's managed to do that without losing any time at all. But we have managed to catch up a little bit down up to Druids. There's no way through there at the moment for us. We're still way too far back. You see Tom actually trying to nibble, get get that place back again, but I think it's probably a bit of a forlorn hope. We're going to be behind Tom now as we go down to Graham Hillbend. No way through. We're actually nowhere near close enough to get these positions. I do know it's the last lap. You do get the last lap board that gets hung out on the start finish straight, so we do are aware that this is the last lap. So I do know if there is a position to be gained, it is the time to pounce. There is no other chance in this race. You can see up ahead, the car's fighting. You've got Jack and Jordan side by side onto the last corner. We know the grip is terrible there. <laughs> Jordan's out onto the gravel. That slowed Tom down as well. We're going to be side by side if we go across the last line. Potentially, he's going to pick up two spaces here. We have got the power down. We are be able to get the inside line. And we are up two places, up to position 18. The side by side is even closer behind us. And across the line, three of us side by side, pretty much. Uh, we're up to position 18. There are two cars disqualified from this race for passing other cars under the yellow flags. Uh, that means we're up to position 16 out of 33. That's a pretty good race. The car has worked flawlessly. So thank you to everyone who helped me rebuild it. Please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next race.